Hello guys, welcome to Chemistry Fight. In this video, I am going to explain you Gibbs adsorption equation. So, let's start. This equation represents exact relation between adsorption and surface tension of solvent due to presence of solute. Free energy of system G of two component system is given by G equals to mu1 n1 plus mu2 n2. Name it as equation number 1 where mu1 and mu2 are chemical potential, n1 and n2 are number of moles. In order to allow possibility for change in free energy resulting from increase or decrease of exposed surface, it is necessary to introduce the term gamma SA, where gamma is surface tension and SA is the surface area. Means, in equation number 1, we will introduce the term gamma SA. So, equation 1 can be written as G equals to gamma SA plus mu1 n1 plus mu2 n2. Name this equation as equation number 2. Now, we will differentiate equation number 2 and we will get dG equals to gamma dSA plus SA d gamma plus mu1 d n1 plus n1 d mu1 plus mu2 d n2 plus n2 d mu2. Name this equation as equation number 3. Alternatively, dg for two component system with variation of temperature and pressure can be written as dg equals to vdp minus sdt plus gamma dsa plus mu1 dn1 plus mu2 dn2. Name this equation as equation number 4 where V is the volume, P is the pressure, S is the entropy, T is temperature, gamma is surface tension, SA is surface area, mu is chemical potential and N is the number of moles. On comparing equation 3 and 4, as we can see that dG is common in both the equation. Now we will compare equation 3 and 4. So equation can be written as gamma dSA plus S A D gamma plus mu1 d n1 plus n1 d mu1 plus mu2 d n2 plus n2 d mu2 equals to V d p plus gamma d s a minus s d t plus mu1 d n1 plus mu2 d n2. Now we can see that gamma d s a is present on both the side of the equation so it will cancel out each other similarly mu1 dn1 and mu2 dn2 will also cancel out each other so the equation can be written as sa d gamma plus n1 d mu1 plus n2 d mu2 equals to v dp minus s dt now we will transfer right hand side side to the left hand side so, it can be written as SDT minus VDP plus SAD gamma plus N1 D mu1 plus N2 D mu2 equals to 0. At constant temperature and pressure, this part and this part will become 0. So, the equation can be written as SAD gamma plus N1 D mu1 plus N2 D mu2 equal to 0. And name this equation as equation number 5. Now, we can imagine a system under consideration is made up of two portion that is surface phase and bulk phase. In surface phase, it involves a portion of a system affected by the surface processes and therefore equation 5 holds true only for it. Means, equation 5 is true for surface phase. Bulk phase, the remainder of the solution which is unaffected by the surface forces are called bulk phase and therefore gibbs tumen equation hold true for this equation means for bulk phase gibbs tumen equation is valid and this equation is n1 naught d mu1 plus n2 naught d mu2 equals to 0 and name this equation as equation number 6 on multiplying equation 6 by n1 upon n1 naught and subtracting from equation 5 we obtain the expression now we will multiply n1 upon n1 naught with equation number 6. So it can be written as n1 upon n1 naught into n1 naught into d mu1 plus n1 upon n1 naught into n2 naught 
d mu 2 equals to 0 n 1 naught n 1 naught will cancel out each other. So, it can be written as n 1 d mu 1 plus n 1 upon n 1 naught into n 2 naught d mu 2 equals to 0. Now, we will subtract this part from equation number 5. So, it can be written as s a d gamma plus n 1 d mu 1 plus n 2 d mu 2 minus n 1 d mu 1 minus n 1 upon n 1 naught into n 2 naught into d mu 2 equals to 0 plus minus minus so n 1 d mu 1 will cancel out each other s a d gamma plus n 2 d mu 2 minus n 1 n 2 naught upon n 1 naught into d mu 2 equals to 0. Now, you can see that d mu 2 is common in both this part. So, it will be taken out as common. So, our equation can be written as s a t gamma plus bracket open n 2 minus n 1 n 2 naught upon n 1 naught bracket close d mu 2 is taken out as common equal to 0 name this equation as equation number 7. On rearranging the equation number 7 we will get minus d gamma upon d mu 2 equals to n 2 minus n 1 n 2 naught upon n 1 naught whole divided by s a name this equation as equation number 8 where in where n 2 represent number of moles of solute associated with n 1 moles of solvent in the surface phase and n 1 n 2 naught upon n 1 naught is the corresponding quantity in the bulk phase. It therefore follows that the quantity n 1 sorry n 2 minus n 1 n 2 naught upon n 1 naught whole divided by S A is the excess concentration of solute per unit area of the surface and it is usually designated by the symbol tau means instead of n 2 minus n 1 n 2 naught upon n 1 naught whole divided by S A we will write tau which is the excess concentration of solute per unit area is written over there. So, equation 8 can be written as tau equals to minus d gamma upon d mu 2. Name this equation as equation number 9 where tau is independent of n1 and is dependent only on the nature of surface phase that is our equation number 5 and not on its amount. For a solution chemical potential and activity can be related as follow mu 2 equals to mu naught plus rt ln a2 name this equation as equation number 10 where a2 is the activity of solute now we will differentiate equation number 10 and our mu 2 is sorry mu 2 naught is constant so it can be written as d mu 2 equal to rt d ln a2 name this equation as equation number 11 on substituting equation 11 in equation 9 we will get means instead of d mu 2 we will write rt ln a2 so it can be written as tau equals to minus d gamma upon rt d ln a2 or tau equals to minus 1 upon rt into d gamma d ln a2 since we know that d ln a2 is equal to d a2 into a2 so this equation can be written as tau equals to minus a2 upon rt into d gamma upon d a2 name this equation as equation number 12 equation number 12 is known as Gibbs absorption equation so this is all about Gibbs adsorption equation thank you